Um, hello and welcome back. Uh, so in this video, what I want to do is I want to take this uh, um, MATLAB code, the simple MATLAB code that I generated actually in my last video, um, that was pretty much on basic plotting. How do you get this plot of uh, y is equal to x squared in MATLAB? And what I want to do in this video is I just want to show you how to put some text on this plot and also how to save the plot so that you could put it into a, uh, into a report. Um, and, you know, this probably isn't uh, the best way of uh, getting this into the report. There are, you know, in MATLAB there are, you know, a thousand different ways to do almost everything in, uh, uh, in MATLAB. So, uh, so, you know, there are, uh, I guess, different strokes for different folks for, uh, for, uh, uh, for this operation as well as for many others. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first off name my figure. So there are a few different ways I can I can do this, um, but what I want to do is I actually want to use the MATLAB set command. So I'm going to say set open paren uh, GCF stands for get current figure. So I'm going to say set in my current figure, um, and now what I have to do is I have to pass in a property name in MATLAB. Um, the way you typically uh, set properties in uh, given in figures or in the title of a figure or uh, in um, different functions that you're using, the way that you typically set properties is you pass in a string that has the property name and then directly after that you pass in the property value. So in uh, so using the GCF command, I am going to set the name to example, example plot of, uh, exa actually I'm just going to say example, example plot is what I'm going to call this, close parentheses and semicolon, let me move this around a little bit so we can see this a bit better, there we go. So now I'm going to run this again. I'm going to get my same figure, and it's going to set the name of my figure to example plot. Let's just run that real quick. So I run this, and you can see that it's named my figure. This is my first figure, figure one, and it's named it example plot. The next thing I want to do is I want to give this figure a title. So I'm just going to say title. Um, and let's say, uh, and again with title, um, the first thing that you pass into it is a string, so I use this single quotation mark, I use kind of a comma, um, and uh, anything I put inside those single quotation marks becomes my title. So I'm going to call this a plot of x squared, plot of x squared, and if I run this, I get my, uh, I get my title. Uh, put in plot of x squared. That's actually really nice. It actually does the x squared instead of x caret 2. Um, yeah, I didn't know that it did that. Um, so anyway, that's how you put in a, a, a basic title. Uh, while we're at it, let's also put in our uh, x and y uh, axis labels. So I can just do that by using, by saying x label, x label uh, I'm just going to say x value and y label, y value. And now I'm going to run this again. And as you can see, I've got, uh, I've now got a title, a title of my plot, an x axis label and a y axis label. So uh, now, you know, the figure looks pretty good, except one thing that I kind of want to do, uh, do is... Um, let's say I want to make the line a little bit thicker on this graph. The way I can do this is in the plot command, um, notice how we did up here using the set command. I pretty much specified a property name that I wanted to edit, and then I put in the value that I wanted to set it to. So I wanted to get the current figure. I wanted to edit the property called name of that current figure. Now I wanted to set that property value to example plot. So that's how we got this figure one to be called example plot. In the plot command, I can actually do the same exact thing. So I'm now plotting my x and y vector. And what I want to do is I want to set the property of the plot command called line width. 
and I want to set that, I think by default this is set to 1. So let's say that I want to set line width to 5. So I want kind of a thicker line on the plot. So I'm going to set line width to 5, and I'm going to run this. And as you can see, I get a much thicker line out of, uh, out of my plot command. So maybe if I was writing a report and I needed to see the figure much better in the report, or I was trying to print this out and I, needed, I couldn't see a really skinny line, uh, I needed to use line width in order to make it a little bit larger so I could actually see this in the report. Um, another thing uh, that I might need if I'm doing uh, writing a report for this, say I need my title and my axes labels to be, uh, to be much bigger. Uh, so I can pretty much set this the same exact way. Um, so in the title command, let's start with, let's uh, I guess start with the title. I pretty much do this same thing where I pass in the property name that I want to set and then the value that I want to set it to. I can do that same exact thing with the with the title command, except that the property uh, the property name that I want to set is going to be font font size, and the property value I want to set, I think by default this is set to 12-point uh, font, so let's actually go ahead and set it to like 25-point font and just see what that looks like. Yeah, so it makes it, makes it a little bit bigger. Um, one thing that I know is confusing for people is where do they find these property names, and the way, where I find them is just by Googling uh, uh, you know, uh, MATLAB title property names, or going to the MATLAB documentation uh, and uh, and looking for those uh, different property names. But uh, anyway, so if I, uh, you know, I, I have edited the property called font size to uh, be, to, uh, be uh, a value of 25. So that gives me 25 point font for my title. And I can do the same exact thing for my X label and my Y label. So let's just go ahead and say font size is going to be, let's say 20, it should be a little bit smaller than the title. And let's say the same thing for the Y label, font size 20. And there you go, we've got a plot now that has a thick, uh, thick line width, a, um, uh, a uh, pretty uh, large size title, and also pretty large uh, X and Y uh, axis labels. Um, so anyway, uh, I guess the last thing, let's, let me just you know, show you the simple way to save it, and this is typically what I do if I'm writing a report. I would just basically click the Save Figure button and then save this as, I could either save it as a MATLAB figure if I want to come back and edit it, uh, edit it again, or if I know that I'm done editing it and this is just going to go into, uh, like, directly into my report, I can save it as a JPEG. And let's say that I want to save this as basic plot example. Save that. So it saves that JPEG image. And let me open it up. And there, I've got my JPEG image that's uh, ready to go into, into a report. Um, so anyway, I guess, uh, you know, there, there are better ways of doing this, and there are, you know, uh, there are certainly different ways of, of doing this, different ways of applying in MATLAB, um, but, uh, but this is one way, one way that, that I typically use to uh, plot simple functions in MATLAB, uh, and, uh, you know, adjust the text size and the line width and everything. Uh, so anyway, I guess uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, please let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.